Hi guys, it's me Andrea and I will show you today the pick a stick page for June. And the first step was use a vintage element. And this is one of the blueprints I found in the attic here in our house. I used it before and um, we found it when we moved in, you know, an architect was living in this house and he was building this house. He did build this house as well. So. And when we moved in, we found all these blueprints in the attics, and I used them in my art. They're quite nice. It is parchment paper type of thing, so very sturdy, and um, wasn't the best thing to glue it down with modeling, oh, with modeling paper, with gel, um, me, gel medium, gel medium. Oh gosh, it's so hot, my brain is not working. But I, it was okay. It's gluing, it's dry now. The second step I didn't show, I forgot to film it, and it's simply to add tape, and that's what I did on the top left and the right on the bottom. Um, tissue tape it is, and that's already the third step, and that says add texture, and I use this uh, cityscape um, stencil from work, Crafters Workshop, I think, and uh, it's this two parts, this detailed part and this solid part. Use that first. Next step is spray something. That's what I did just spray water, but it's spraying. So I get then the light gesso wash here. I was after because I didn't want to cover the background. I really like this blueprint thing. And done that. Forget to tick that other thing off, but it doesn't matter. It's done. And uh, then it uses sponge, and I use here a makeup sponge, as you can see, to put the black acrylic paint on top. And I, um, I have to go several times over it, uh, but I couldn't uh, cover the white edges. But that's okay. Okay, that's done as well. Okay, so this step now coming up, it's quite good because it says skip a step or add another of your choice and that's what I do here. I use this beautiful vivid ultra metallics and this is the uh, kiwi it calls. Absolutely fantastic green, love it. And um, for the next step on top I use teal. I love that so much. And keep in your mind it's boiling hot here at the moment and so the vivids there are um, drying quickly anyway, so I, I had to be very quick that I could work them in. That's why I go and, and use mainly my fingers to blend them into the green. And the green is dry already anyway, so, but it's okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I didn't want to cover the whole page. As I said, I wanted to have the blueprint mainly showing through, but at the end I had some of the teal left and I yeah, I sort of connected the upper part with the lower part so that it's more one, that it belongs together. I have a, a closed painting. So, okay, that's done. And the next says use your word. And that's what I did with my demo here. My own words in German I use here. Put it in very long sentence. And the problem is you only can see a few words you're putting on this display. So I forgot a word as I found out now. Mm, there is a word missing and the word nur. No means only. So I have to print. I, you can look at it for hours, lovey. It's not coming up, <laughs> not showing up. You have to print it. And here I print the word. I will cut it apart anyway, so it doesn't matter really. I can squeeze it in between. So, and um, it says actually, der Mensch spielt auf, uh, der Mensch spielt nur eine untergeordnete Rolle in der Stadtplanung. And that means. Um, the human only plays a minor role in city planning, something like that. Yeah, sort of. And I glued them down very close to the, the cityscape here. I wanted to do that to have, have it more compact. And the next step I already do that is add something black or white. And I chose black here. And simply use it with my uni ball to go around the edges. So the next step is really interesting. It says use something unexpected. 
a painted or printed paper but what I have I have this sugar bags with the art on it from well, Sabine Turk the, the artist I, I say that or I, I told you about that every time when I use them I, I tell you about them I, I found them in the restaurant these little sugar bags when I had a coffee and um, there's the address on that contact to her. so she allowed me to to use them in my art and she even showered me with a lot of more sugar bags I really really happy about that they are so fantastic of course her art is much much bigger but it's printed on these little cute sugar bags so on every now and I, I use it in there and that's what I did here I beheaded them <laughs> put them into this it's a leftover rusted paper cardstock here I have and um, the holes were already in so I put the little faces behind so these are the people are not really yeah, fitting into the city nowadays cities are not really human friendly aren't they most of them are a lot of them are only for, for working in and yeah okay cut everything off what was hanging over a bit of edging here and there and the last bit was apply paint with a wipe or a rack and that's what I do here I use my cloth and dip it into the um, Viva Gold um, yeah tell me what is it Inca Gold no it's Inca Gold is it does it call Inca Gold it does it the name Inca uh, the heat <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> bloody heat um, yeah and go over that uh, this rough bit you know this textured bit of, of the stenciling and that's it a bit of shading here and there and edge with a leftover black paint and that's it and you will see a close-up coming and some pictures of course and um, yeah it was so quick this time and so e not easy not that I say oh not was so easy but it came so easy to me so and I had really fun doing that and um, it's it's fantastic if you haven't joined this group go for it you know i put a put um a link into my description box have a look it's really fun and uh, you can win at something actually so this it is it and i thank you a lot for watching i hope you like it if so please give me a thumbs up that would be so fantastic and share if you want to share it please go for it feel free so guys, thanks a lot for watching. I wish you a fantastic time and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.